With an abundance of wither skeleton skulls, we have the key to produce thousands of beacons. One thing stands in our way, the mighty wither boss. We must kill thousands of these mystical creatures to gain the beacon's power source. Once we have access to this many nether stars, no one can stop us on the legacy SMP server. To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to another episode on the Legacy SMP server. We're starting off on the nether roof um, where our iron farm is and we are going to be breaking some bedrock. In fact, today, quite a bit of bedrock. So this is the very first block and I've got a little setup here ready to go. And why are we doing this? Well, we are going to be building a beacon factory. Yes, last episode we uh, we built a really cool wither skeleton farm. So now we've got lots of wither skulls and we need to turn them into beacons. Now, I'm not going to kill withers one by one. We are going to build a machine to do it and to create some space we need we need to clear out some of this uh, some of this bedrock so here is the setup i've got the tnt in place and the piston pointing upwards i've scooted on over so i just got to flip this lever and then once i've done that move over to the other side once the once the tnt has ignited then place another piston and hopefully when it all blows up i will survive because i don't have any armor on yes it's good i've got a beacon uh, nearby and hopefully when i remove that piston it should be all good Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we've broken our first piece of bedrock. That is epic. All right. Let's get on with this. I am now inside the bedrock. <laughs> this is uh, quite strange. But yeah, I'm inside the bedrock. Look at this. It worked. So we've got our technique down to breaking bedrock and we're going to be doing quite a bit of it today. Uh, as I mentioned, that's because we need some space. Uh, this bedrock is in the way. So I'll talk you through it a bit later on. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be breaking a bit more bedrock uh, in, a, in a little while. So um, this this obsidian here is here for a very special reason. That is a marker because that is above a very special block underneath. So let's go on underneath and check it out. Let's see what uh, what's what. I've done a little bit of preparation work. I've cleared out um, an area to make some make make way uh, for what we're going to build today. And yeah, this is high risk, high high risk because down there is our wither skeleton farm. We've got our iron farm iron farm above us. And what we're going to be doing is summoning a whole bunch of withers today. And if this goes wrong and they all escape, this could be yeah, very, very bad indeed. But um, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so this stone block here, this is directly under the obsidian block above us. And this block right here, this center uh, uh, bedrock block, block is a very special block. That's because it's surrounded by bedrock. So there, there is a, a three by three here of bedrock at that level. And also above this piece of bedrock is another piece of bedrock. That means we can trap a wither in there and it won't escape hopefully <laughs> but um you might be asking why am i doing it here and not in the end well let's go over there and answer that question here we are in the end at our rainbow road and this is one of the reasons why we need a bunch of beacons because i want to put a beacon on each one of these end gateways as, uh, as some decoration so that is one of the reasons of course the other reason is we want to get it into our shop uh, to sell beacons uh yeah in beyond logic <laughs> that's gonna be pretty cool but yeah so when uh, when a lot of people kill the wither uh, it's very common for people to come over to the end and use uh use this uh, use this formation of bedrock to do it you can dig underneath and you can spawn the wither underneath and uh yeah you can kill it that way because it gets trapped in this in this bedrock because that's got the same formation it's got a three by three with this this uh this bedrock just above it now the problem with that is there's two issues so first of all this is a communal area and i don't think it will be fair if i take over all of this area build a massive contraption and uh, expect other people to uh, live with it and not be able to use this if they want to do that kind of thing you know cheese the wither themselves the other the other reason is it won't fit <laughs> this bedrock formation is in a way and i don't really want to break this bedrock because again it's a communal it's a communal uh, resource a communal area so yeah it doesn't sound fair to do that so that's why we're building it over over in the uh, in our area of the nether and it's going to be convenient because obviously that's where we've got all of our our farm you know our weather skeleton farm is over there we can get e easy access to the to the uh, to the skulls and whatnot so that is what we're going to do all right so i think now it's time to get knuckled down get the tnt out and break as much bedrock as we can so here we go, breaking the bedrock. Now we're not gonna do quite as much as Sly Slime has done. He's done a massive hole. We're gonna do something a bit smaller than that, but uh, this is still a significant amount of bedrock to break. Now the technique I'm using is by someone called Fallen Breath. If you're not following him already, then uh, make sure you do because uh, uh, Fallen Breath is a very talented technical Minecrafter and has a lot of really cool uh, videos and stuff on his channel. So go and check that out and make sure you subscribe. There'll be a link in the description, of course. And as I'm doing this, you'll see that uh, I've not got any armor on. That's because in 
case of any mishaps, I don't want to lose my stuff, so I'm just holding on to the the, the bare the bare essentials that I need to break the bedrock. Um, I do have a beacon with uh, regeneration and uh, resistance, but uh, if you if you position yourself correctly when you're doing this, uh, you don't actually take that much damage. Only like half a heart, maybe a heart, depending on where you are. So this is pretty safe to do. And yeah, I'm just going through breaking as much of this as possible. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that I've started a new series on the channel called Simply Minecraft, where we uh, we try and build uh, farms and designs as simply as possible. So go and check that out. Link in the description, of course, to that too. Now here you'll find that uh, I'm having a bit of a mishap. <laughs> so I decided uh, to uh, to break this this piece of bedrock, of course. But uh, as I was moving along, you'll see that I stand up, and that is because I'm not quite sure what happened. I think I moved over too much, and then I thought, oh no, there's TNT. I better run away, and I blew up. <laughs> But not all was lost, <laughs> but my stuff was all over the place, of course, but not all was lost. Uh, Slice Lime was online, he came to my rescue, I was stranded in the overworld with no way of getting back. So he came over, picked up all my stuff, came over to the overworld, gave me an elytra to borrow, and so I could fly back over, uh, get, get my stuff back, gave me, I gave him his wings back afterwards, and then once that was done, we could then continue uh, digging this huge hole. <laughs> so we're not quite far, not quite uh, uh, too much not more to go. You can see we've got quite a, far, quite a way down now and we're almost there so this is really cool and here you can see we've got the last piece of bedrock yes we've made it so here we're putting the uh, the piston facing upwards on this piece of bedrock and then a piece of obsidian next to it and then any block above that uh, to uh, that will, will transmit power any solid block then a couple of bits of TNT and then a lever and also the trapdoor so we can go underneath we then flip the lever as we did before scoot on over and then try and place a piston on that piece of obsidian facing downwards I'm using auto quicker clicker to do it super fast and you'll see this bedrock just disappears <laughs> so there it is it's done we've now cleared up all the bedrock and we're ready to build this uh, this amazing contraption and there is our iron farm on the nether roof and we can see it through a big hole <laughs> Here it is, we did it. <laughs> so this is the hole. So I'll just try to break the, the minimum amount of uh, bedrock that I need to make way for the uh, the contraption we're going to build here. Uh, still quite a lot, but yeah, I think this is well worth it. This is well worth it. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get onto the build a, a little bit later. But first of all, I want to go back over to the overworld to our wither skeleton farm and actually see how many how many wither skulls we actually have. Um, we looked at it last time and we got quite a lot, but I don't actually know exactly how many we have. So let's go over there and see what we've got. And here is the skull chest. Let's see how many skulls we have. It's empty. <laughs> That's because I've taken them all out. <laughs> so I've done some organizing. Got some shulker boxes here. We've got one shulker box of skulls, two shulker boxes of skulls, and not quite three. So I I really want to have three shulker boxes of with the skeleton skulls because then three of these means we could make potentially one shulker box of beacons. That would be awesome. So we need a few more. So what I've done is I've sent a message to Slice Slime, our partner, and uh, in this EO, he's our partner in this venture. So hopefully he's going to come over very shortly and do some more AFK for us. I'm going to AFK overnight again, get a whole bunch of more skulls. I'm going to actually add a bit more storage here as well. So we can hopefully get all of them and not, not miss out on any. And then hopefully we should get enough skulls to create a, a full shulker of beacons, full to the brim with beacons. That's the plan anyway. Let's see. Let's see if it works out. But yeah, got to, I'm just going to wait around here for Slice Slime. He should be, uh, should be over anytime. The AFK session is over and look at the levels, they're back up to a reasonable level. In fact, it's player not found. But let's check out how many skulls we've got. Another full double chest. Oh, and, and the hopper there. Okay, okay. I think we've got enough now. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, I think I'm going to get these into shulker boxes and then I think then we can go over to back over to the nether because I think I need to test that, uh, that area just to make sure the wither does actually stay in its cage. And here is Slice Lime at the AFK spot. He's boxed himself in, but he's made he's made a mistake. He hasn't spawn proof these blocks. So of course we have gas spawning here, causing havoc. So let me just let me just fix this. Let me just uh, pillar up here with like an everyday block. You know, everyone has just in their inventory. And let's spawn proof all of this. You know, I just happen to have these in, in my inventory. So yeah, in fact, I might lay a few more down here. Maybe he can pick them up if he wants. So let's uh yeah, let's just plop a whole bunch, you know, just a bit of decoration as you do. All right. Okay. Just uh, yeah. Just trash blocks. We can uh, yeah carry on. So how many wither skulls do we have? Well, let's check it out. As you can see, I've got some sugar boxes down here. We've got one sugar box, two sugar boxes, three sugar boxes, four sugar boxes, five sugar boxes, and a half. 
<laughs> five and a half sugar boxes. Okay, I think that will do us for a little while. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's crazy, but yeah. All right. So now we need to go and test this thing. So I've got uh, I've got a few things in my hotbar there. So we're going to go down here and yes, yeah, spawn the wither just above that block. Now I've covered this over so we don't fall down. And also, if there is any issues, like if a gas was to spawn uh, down there, it would fly up here and get out. Um, but yeah, we're going to go down there and test this thing out and see just to make sure this bedrock does encase uh, this wither. Okay, it is time for the first test. Let's see if this is actually going to work. <laughs> So if it doesn't, then I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but uh, hopefully this will encase the wither. So we've got this cobble wall and it's underneath the center of uh, of this of the three by three that we talked about earlier. And that's right above this uh, this uh, block we had as well. So hopefully uh, it should work. So you, you spawn the wither with the with the, the, the bottom of the T-shape there in the center of where you want it to spawn. And this this should be all we need to do. So and he should stay there. He's in, the, he's in the bedrock. He should stay there. Let's just move back. Let's move back. Don't get hurt. Okay, please stay there. Please stay there. This is the test. Okay. Okay. This is good. All right. I'm just going to watch this for a minute. <laughs> so you can see he is taking damage. Let's just move away. It's a bit loud. <laughs> so you can see he is taking damage, but very, very slowly. So if we case the withers here, how are we actually going to kill them? Well, we're going to kill them with entity cramming. Now, we're not going to use minecarts. No, that's for noobs. We're not going to use minecarts. We're going to use withers. <laughs> we can have so many withers in there. They're going to kill each other with entity cramming. And it's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> so, all right. Let's, I'm going to stand around here, wait for this guy to die. And then we can start building this contraption. I decided to just kill him off. But I've got a skull, so that's good, useful. And we've got our first nether star from over here. So this is working great. All right, let's get cracking. I've made a start on the contraption. Not too much, but enough, I think, to demonstrate some of the concepts of uh, how this uh, nether star farm is going to work. Now, this is not my design. This is by Fallen Breath, the same person that gave us the bedrock breaking technique above here. A link's in the description to the videos, of course. Now, there's a couple of videos uh, for this design. Um, there's some important changes for different versions of the game um, and also some world downloads. So make sure you uh, you pay attention to those videos and uh, build the right version and maybe test it out in creative first. I'd highly recommend that. That's what I've done. I've done a whole bunch of testing before, so I'm relatively confident this is going to be okay, but once you're on a server in survival you know things can be different but anyway let's let's talk about a bit more of this stuff so uh, we've got here some dispensers these have got the wither skulls in and these will be dispensed on top of the soul sand and of course we need to have soul sand in a t-shape to spawn the wither and what we're going to do here is i'm going to be over here in this area and i'm going to be placing soul sand on this block which is going to get pushed along hit that smart piston and then get pushed that way so the reason is i'm over here because when the wither explodes and it's summoned um it's going to damage the player if you're within 15 blocks i think it is of the of the wither so we need to be well away from it so we don't take any damage and of course for every four blocks of soul sand we place here that's going to be a wither and we can place blocks super fast <laughs> so it gets to that smart piston over there and turns the corner and it will enter this uh, soul sand will enter the mechanism this way and then for every four yeah we're going to be there's going to be a bunch of redstone here some pistons that are going to uh, form it into the t-shape and then the the uh, the dispensers dispense the, the the skulls onto the onto the uh, onto the soul sand so that is basically it. Now, from the original design, this stuff I've changed. So all of the stuff over here is Fallen Breath's original design, or what, once I build it at least. Uh, this stuff over here, I've changed this. Uh, this is my own my own uh, uh, version of, of that, um, I, just because it was a bit simpler and kind of fits my needs a bit better. But yeah, we've got a dispenser here. So every time um, I place a block, I get a new one. So you can see I've got four in my inventory. So every time I place one, I get an extra one and yeah, this is it for it basically. So that's the delivery of the of the of the soul sand. I can just stand there AFK uh, um, uh, placing this stuff, and then we're just going to get wither after wither after wither. And of course, we can place the block super fast, and then yeah, these, these are going to spawn really quickly, and then yeah, die of uh, of entity cramming as I said before. And then we can have it's a pickup system under here. There's going to be a, a minecart hopper underneath, with a whole bunch of other hoppers, and then all the stars will end up in a chest over here. All right. So the next thing that dawned on me is. I could build this up quite quickly, I think, but we need some resources. Of course, I need a lot of soul sand. Um, if we're going to uh, spawn that many withers, uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot of soul sand, so I need to gather that up. I also need for the beacons, we need a whole bunch of obsidian and also glass. So I've got uh, some mining and some resource gathering in my future. Okay, we are pretty much there. Just got to uh, put in these, these uh, few heads in this dispenser, and I think that is it. 
I think it's done. <laughs> so I've got some extra storage here. There's a dropper here and also a hopper. And on top of that, there's uh, some chests. So I've got plenty of storage for the sh for the skulls. But I'm just gonna just gonna load up the uh, dispensers for the moment. But here it is. Here is um, <laughs> the contraption. And actually, it's not that big. And of course, there you can see you can see why I needed to break the bedrock because it goes all the way up there into the bedrock. And one of the other things I forgot to mention, the reason that I've I've redid uh, the delivery system for the the soul sand is uh, I wanted to make it as low as possible, so I didn't need to break any more of this bedrock. Uh, that's the real reason I did it. <laughs> I forgot to mention that earlier. So that's why there's uh, in the in the video that comes with this, uh, there's a couple of components a bit higher. And yeah, I just wanted to save myself a bit of work in terms of the bedrock. But anyway, I think we're ready to go. So as you can see here, here's where the soul sand comes in, goes along here. These pistons push it along. These pistons push it up and you can see there there's three there and then there's some more soul sand that goes around this way and there's a piston up there and that pushes in there's a double piston extender there that pushes in, in the, the the tail you know the bottom of the t-shape and it should uh, yeah it should uh, form correctly and then the dispensers there give the give the skulls then it gets summoned and then here we have this hopper minecart and then some hoppers here so any any stars that get dropped will end up in this chest right here so i guess it's time to try it out <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit nervous. So I don't have enough soul sand to do everything yet. So I'm going to have to go on a on a little, uh, on a, 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 a spree of uh, getting resources. So I should, in theory, be able to place four um, soul sand and we should see a wither. So let's see if that works first. So there's one, two, three. Okay, moment of truth, four. Something happened. There's a wither. Okay. Did he spawn in the correct place? Let's see if he's trapped and doesn't come out. Let's see. In fact, let's get out of here. Once he explodes, I'll stay over here so we're safe. But, okay. Okay. He seems... Seems to be good. Okay, he's trapped. All right. That's good. So he's, uh, his health is going down very slowly. That's because we need more withers in there to uh, to uh, uh, to give an entity cramming. Now I'm going to just do one more test there. I'm going to summon a second one. So there's one, two, three, four. So now we've got two withers. Okay, I'm going to wait here till that one explodes as well. Just takes a few seconds. And then we can go over there. You can see him flashing. And there he goes. Okay, there's two in the taking damage. Okay, this is that's that's good. That's really good. Because one of the things that can fail with these things, if this, if when you when you start summoning multiple, they start pushing each other out. But that looks that looks good. In fact, let's put our hitboxes on, and you can see here that they're all in the same block. Okay, that, that is looking that is looking good. They're slightly over. Has me a little bit worried. Okay. All right, I'm just going to leave these to die, and then I'm going to have to go and get some more resources. And one is about to die any second now. There he goes. One's dead. Okay. It's going to take a few more seconds for the second one. And here goes the second one. Almost there. The bar's almost gone. Any second now. He should die. Yes. Okay. All right, let's check out. Hopefully, we should have two stars in here. Oh, yes. Check it out. Okay. That is good. Okay, so our preliminary tests are successful, but now I do need to go and get some resources. So in particular, obviously I need all of the soul sand we need. We need quite a lot of that. Um, and I think I'm also going to get all of the obsidian and the glass we need. So we've got all the all the ingredients we need. So once we've AFK'd over here, over here, we've got all the nether stars, we can then craft up those beacons straight away. All right, renewable sand would be a great addition to this game. I'm looking forward to the day that happens. And if sand wasn't bad enough, we've now got to mine all this obsidian. And now it's time for some tool repairing as well. And now, of course, we can smelt up that sand to give us as much glass as we need to create these beacons. And last of all, it's time to get the soul sand. After many hours of digging, I think we're finally ready. <laughs> we're ready to uh, actually put this thing to the full test. So as you can see, I'm, I've got it below me. I thought it's quite you know, quite cool to actually look at it from, from, from above. Oh yeah, so there's the, there's the three chests behind me that's got with the skulls in, and of course there's the mechanism there. So now it's the time. This is the moment I'm half dreading and also looking forward to. Um, it's going to be awesome to see this happen, but I'm kind of regretting actually building it here. I was kind of thinking maybe I should have found uh, this kind of bedrock formation like a long, long, long way away. So if anything does go wrong, it's not the end of the world. It's just don't go back. But of course here we've got our gold, our iron farm. 
and I'm with a skeleton farm. I mean, there's nothing else from anyone else here, so, you know, um, it's not the end of the world in terms of that, but this is going to be pretty bad if they escape. But I have done a lot of testing. I've tested a whole bunch of stuff um, in a creative test world. I've also got a backup of the server and run it uh, on my own machine at home. And uh, it worked fine in that case. So it should, <laughs> fingers crossed, be okay. So I've done as best I can in terms of testing. And of course, we've already tested it with a couple. So we've seen them we've seen them spawn in and we've seen them die. So I think I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. <laughs> so I think it's time, yeah, to start this thing off. Okay, I'm in position. I'm ready to go. Um, I've got enough soul sand for exactly um, one shulker box of beacons. So hopefully this is going to be good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go a bit carefully to start with, I think. I'm going to get the first few in just to make sure everything is good. So let's see. And here you can see the soul sand being pushed into the mechanism and then it's going to form this T-shape right on the bedrock ceiling. But as soon as it does, it should all connect at exactly the same time. And then the uh, the skulls are dispensed. You can't see them here, but they are dispensed. And then the wither is summoned. And then this happens over and over and over again to form all these withers. This is absolutely glorious. Okay, okay. They're staying in there. It's looking good. Okay, now we need to test the entity cramming. Let's add some more. Look at those bars. The bars are going down super quick now. They are now taking entity cramming damage. Those withers are dying super quickly. This is incredible. And the first set of withers are almost dying. And here we go. <laughs> the bars have reached the end. And now look, as the bars now cycle through, we're now killing withers super quickly. They are dying non-stop. This is incredible. This is absolutely amazing. This is absolutely glorious. All of the soul sand has now been placed <laughs> and there are still some withers in there. So they're, they're dying a bit slower now. Um, they're no longer entity cramming, but they are soon, they're soon going to die die off. Um, yeah, I've only got a few to go now, I think. But yeah, I've placed all of the, uh, all of that soul sand. It took quite a while and uh, a word of warning, whenever you do this, whenever a wither, wither is summoned, uh, especially on, you know, on a multiplayer server, then every other player hears it every time a wither is um, uh, summoned. So uh, Slashland was streaming and I started placing all of this and then it was noise after noise after noise. So I had to, I had to pause um, just so he could finish his stream in peace. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, it's gone so, it's gone extremely well so far. But yeah, let's wait for these, uh, these last few to die off and then we can check out the chest and hopefully uh, we should have the right a number of uh, of nether stars. All is quiet again. <laughs> Thing, and we are we are safe and sound. All right. So let's check out the chest. Let's see how many we've got. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that! So here are the uh, the shulker box worth of uh, of nether stars we need for the beacon. Now there's the extra two. We did the two extras, uh, the the test at the beginning. So this has worked brilliantly. Now I think I'm actually going to do a bit more. I think I'm going to try and get an extra stack because I want to place um, a whole bunch of beacons um, in the end of all the the end gateways, and I want to have a whole a whole um, barrel full of, uh, of of beacons in in the shop. So yeah, I'm going to have a bit, extra. and then of course then I need some extra ones for myself as well. So I'm just going to do that, and yeah, then we can head over head on over to uh, back to the base, craft all this up, and get this stuff in the shop. And here we go with crafting our first stack of beacons. Look at that. Oh, that is glorious. <laughs> That's just the first one. We've still got to go through all of these. <laughs> this 
Jesus. Oh, I don't know. This, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> this is just incredible. Okay. All right. Let me get crafting. And then, yeah, yeah, we'll get these in the shop and we'll go over to the end and place a few down on all the end gateways. We're here at our shop, Beyond Logic. I have stocked it up, so let's take a look. Um, now, I'm not sure about the pricing, so let me know what you think about the prices. I've uh, struggled a little bit, but uh, we're at the store index over here, and now we have two more items. We've got beacons and with the skeleton skulls both on aisle one. So I'm going to keep them on aisle one for the time being, but as we get more and more things in here, more and more stock, we can arrange them so it makes sense. Now, one thing I've also done is I've uh, moved these uh, moved these out to make the uh, the signs a bit easier to read. Um, so that was uh, from from someone in my community. I think it was Radioactive Bear, maybe. Um, so thanks for that suggestion. So that's what I'm going with, and these look much better. So here are the prices. Two diamonds each for a Wither Skeleton Skull. We've got a few. <laughs> So that's that. And then the beacons are one diamond block each. So the thinking here is that there's quite a lot of effort that goes into making one of these. But if you want to uh, fight them with it yourself, you can get these. So you can get it a bit cheaper. You know, you need three of these. So it'll cost you six diamonds uh, to get your own. You can get your own beacon if you do a bit of hard work or you can spend a bit extra, an extra three diamonds and you'll get the full beacon already done. And we've got quite a lot of those too. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how many of these we're going to sell, but we'll see. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll put the word out and see if anyone wants to buy a beacon. These are the beacons of the end. <laughs> I've come over here and I've put them all in. Look at this. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so good. So I'm uh, I'm up up here, <laughs> right on the top. And there you go. I've added I've added beacons on every single uh, end gateway. We're still going to have to do some more decoration around them, uh, but I haven't got time for that today. But look at this beacons on every single gateway. There's 20 of them in total, and the color of the beam corresponds to the the color that they're on on the Rainbow Road. So yeah, this is looking pretty cool. Oh man, this was a lot of work this episode, but it was a lot of fun. Let's fly through these beams. Look at this. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Okay, so I've just got to, still got to do some work over here. I want to add the quartz trim um, in a couple of episodes time and also work on my, my island. I'm going to have an island as well. And then hopefully the other peeps will come in and do their islands as well for the villagers. So this is going to be really good. And so that is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get in that comment section. All right, my geeks. Until next time, I will see you later.